Well, the opening salvos in this year's War on Christmas have been fired, I know, because I was there to see it. See, on Monday, I was at the mall, and as I walked by the kiosk that sells phone cases, the dude there said, Happy Holidays, to me. Which, as we all know, is just another way of saying, Fuck Jesus and his stupid birthday. And as we stood there amid the Christmas decorations and the Christmas sales, with Christmas music wafting in around us under the shadow of the Santa Pavilion, we shared a conspiratorial cackle about how secular this time of year has become. I mean, honestly, this, this whole war on Christmas thing, like, that is a perfect microcosm of everything wrong with American Christians right now, isn't it? Right? It's based on a bigoted knee-jerk resistance to inclusivity. It's a long overdue challenge to their privilege that they've mislabeled as persecution. It's an imaginary fear that would be inconsequential even if it was real. It's rooted in spite, anger, and pettiness. It's an artificial paranoia concocted by Fox News to retain viewership. Like, like that list could be applied to damn near any political motive that stirs up evangelicals, right? And look, even as a person who spent nearly a decade pointing to this as a red flag about where the Christian mindset was, I wildly underestimated how scared we should have been about it. Because let, let's be clear about what happened here, right? So a bunch of progressive-minded people started to realize how alienated they would feel if they were part of a religious minority that didn't celebrate Christmas and were surrounded by all this Christmas shit for like six weeks a year. Right? They realized that the ubiquitous greeting Merry Christmas every time you went anywhere was unnecessarily exclusionary when there was a perfectly good and already broadly used and recognized alternative sitting right there in Happy Holidays. Right, So on the holiday that's ostensibly about peace on earth and goodwill towards men, just men, like even their aspirational phrases betray their bigotry, but still. But on that day, people decided to send a more inclusive, more international, more peaceful, more goodwillful message and Christians got angry. Right? Like, like we've been in this boiling pot the whole time, so it's easy to lose track of what a dick move that is. I mean, not to be grandiose here, but the conscious decision to move towards happy holidays was literally a message of love and unity. It was a way for a Christian-centric culture to recognize the feelings of the 23 million Americans that don't celebrate Christmas and the, you know, whatever, 55% of humanity that doesn't. And before we could fully extend that olive branch... Those motherfuckers side-tackled us. The end result, of course, is that the minorities that this change was all about in the first place are now even more alienated than they'd have been if we had just said Merry Christmas the whole time. Because feeling like you're not welcome in the wider culture probably doesn't hurt quite as bad as being explicitly told that you're not welcome in the wider culture. More so, being told that your influence is an existential threat to the wider culture, that including you is somehow an act of war against the status quo. War, they use that fucking word. And perhaps seeking to head off the charge that they're frothing mad over something as basic as fucking recognizing other people's feelings, they try to pretend that we're the angry ones in this. Right, I remember arguing with my dad about this and his entire framing of the argument, no doubt gleaned from Fox News coverage, was that he just couldn't imagine why anybody would be offended by Merry Christmas. Even if you don't celebrate the holiday, surely you want to have a Merry 25th of December, don't you? But that's a perversion of the actual fight that's happening, right? Like our side was never offended. It wasn't about being offended on our side. It was about being inclusive. If we're angry at anything, it's that you pushed back against that goal. You're the ones motivated by anger. I mean, you know, the, the fucking lines are blurred at this point because these days you assholes are often saying Merry Christmas out of spite. And sure, that pisses me off. But that's certainly not how it started. That, that wasn't the motive in the first place. But that's the important thing to bear in mind when it comes time to adjudicate this at your family dinner or the break room at work or whatever. Where our side was motivated by joy and goodwill, theirs was motivated by despair and hostility. And that's just yet more evidence that we never should have trusted them with this holiday in the first place. 